Second Chronicles chapter 20 And it was after this that the children of Moab and the children of Ammon and with them some of the Ammonim came against Jehoshaphat to battle. Then there came some that told Jehoshaphat, saying, There cometh a great multitude against thee from beyond the sea from Aram. And behold, they are in Hataton Tamar, the same is Engedi. And Jehoshaphat feared, and set himself to seek Yahweh, and he proclaimed a fast throughout all Yehuda. And Yehuda gathered themselves together to seek help of Yahweh, even out of all the cities of Yehuda they came to seek Yahweh. And Jehoshaphat stood in the assembly of Yehuda and Jerusalem in the house of Yahweh before the court. And he said, O Yahweh, the God of our fathers, art not thou God in skies? And art not thou ruler over all the kingdoms of the nations? And in thy hand is power and might, so that none is able to withstand thee. Didst not thou, O our God, drive out the inhabitants of this land before thy people Yisrael, and give it to the seed of Abraham thy friend for ever? And they dwelt therein, and have built thee a sanctuary therein for thy name, saying, If evil come upon us, the sword, judgment, or pestilence, or famine, we will stand before this house and before thee, for thy name is in this house, and cry to thee in our affliction, and thou wilt hear and save. And now, behold, the children of Ammon and Moab and Mount Sheir, whom thou wouldst not let Yisrael invade, when they came out of the land of Mithraim, but they turned aside from them and destroyed them not, behold how they reward us to come to cast us out of thy possession, which thou hast given us to inherit. O our God, wilt thou not judge them? For we have no might against this great company that cometh against us, neither know we what to do, but our eyes are upon thee. And all Yehuda stood before Yahweh, with their little ones, their women, and their children. Then upon Yahaziel, the son of the Kariahu, the son of Benayah, the son of Ya'iel, the son of Mataniah, the Lewi, of the sons of Asaph, came the Spirit of Yahweh in the midst of the assembly. And he said, Hearken ye, all Yehuda, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, and thou, King Jehoshaphat, thus saith Yahweh to you, Fear not ye, neither be dismayed by reason of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours, but God's. Tomorrow go ye down against them. Behold, they are come up by the ascent of Theth, and ye shall find them at the end of the valley before the wilderness of Yeruel. Ye shall not need to fight in this. Set yourselves, stand ye still, and see the salvation of Yahweh with you. O Yehuda and Jerusalem, fear not, nor be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them, for Yahweh is with you. And Jehoshaphat bowed his head with his face to the ground, and all Yehuda and the inhabitants of Jerusalem fell down before Yahweh, worshipping Yahweh. And the Luiim of the children of the Kohatim and of the children of the Orahim stood up to praise Yahweh, the God of Israel, with an exceeding loud voice. And they arose early in the morning and went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went forth, Jehoshaphat stood and said, 
Hear me, O Yehuda, and ye inhabitants of Yerushalayim, believe in Yahweh your God, so shall ye be established. Believe his prophets, so shall ye prosper. And when he had taken counsel with the people, he appointed them that should sing to Yahweh and give praise in holy array, as they went out before the army, and say, Give thanks to Yahweh, for his loving kindness endureth for ever. And when they began to sing and to praise, Yahweh set liars in wait against the children of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Sheir, that were come against Yehuda, and they were smitten. For the children of Ammon and Moab stood up against the inhabitants of Mount Sheir, utterly to slay and destroy them. And when they had made an end of the inhabitants of Sheir, every one helped to destroy another. And when Yehuda came to the watchtower of the wilderness, they looked upon the multitude, and behold, they were dead bodies fallen to the earth, and there were none that escaped. And when Yehoshaphat and his people came to take the spoil of them, they found among them in abundance both riches and dead bodies and precious jewels which they stripped off for themselves, more than they could carry away. And they were three days in taking the spoil. It was so much. And on the fourth day, they assembled themselves in the valley of Barakah, for there they blessed Yahweh. Therefore the name of that place was called the valley of Barakah to this day. Then they returned, every man of Yehuda and Yerushalem, and Yehoshaphat in the front of them, to go again to Yerushalem with joy, for Yahweh had made them to rejoice over their enemies. And they came to Yerushalem with psalteries and harps and straight horns to the house of Yahweh. And the fear of God was on all the kingdoms of the countries when they heard that Yahweh fought against the enemies of Yisrael. So the realm of Yehoshaphat was quiet, for his God gave him rest round about. And Yehoshaphat reigned over Yehuda. He was thirty and five years old when he began to reign, and he reigned twenty and five years in Yerushalem, and his mother's name was Azuvah, the daughter of Shilahi. And he walked in the way of Asa his father, and turned not aside from it, doing that which was right in the eyes of Yahweh. Howbeit the high places were not taken away, neither as yet had the people set their hearts to the God of their fathers. Now the rest of the acts of Yehoshaphat, first and last, behold, they are written in the history of Yehu, the son of Hanani, which is inserted in the book of the kings of Yisrael. And after this did Yehoshaphat, king of Yehuda, join himself with Ahaziahu, king of Yisrael. The same did very wickedly. And he joined himself with him to make ships to go to Tarshish, and they made the ships in Ethion Geber. Then Eliezer, the son of Dodawahu, of Maresha, prophesied against Yehoshaphat, saying, Because thou hast joined thyself with Ahaziahu, Yahweh hath destroyed thy works. And the ships were broken, so that they were not able to go to Tarshish.